So we're going to be trying different methods of planting potatoes to see which one works for this new environment. We are in zone 8B and what I'm looking at here is we're going to go old school and put them in rows and we're doing bags. So now we're going to start the rows. This is mainly a kind of compost topsoil mixed with some sandy loam and I had to do this to raise it out of the mud because it's very watery like you can see when it rains how watery it is now I should probably just get my wheel hoe and put troughs in here but we're gonna try something different uh, we are going to actually make little volcanoes we're gonna punch it the because uh, I'm really worried about getting these things too wet with root rot and stuff so we're gonna lay the potatoes on the top of the soil and then mound around them and make little uh we're gonna punch a little bit in so you know what there's some area for the root growth and we'll put some fertilizer down and let me show you the amendments so i want to put something on here because we're out of biochar right now so i'm using azomite um azomite is like minerals but it's also derived from volcanic ash so this is kind of like biochar it's got minerals and ash and i'll also put some of this vegan 322 mix on so we'll put a, a probably like a quarter cup with each potato maybe not even sorry probably like an eighth of a cup and a little handful of this every time we build a volcano and i'll show you how it's done so this will give you a little better what i mean by volcanoes they're just kind of humps we're putting compost on the top but here better you can see where they're dug out we could probably get them a little closer maybe uh, about a foot apart and you will see that we put in a dusting of fertilizer and the ammo, um, ammonite. Azomite. Azomite, thank you. The azomite, I cannot say. So the, the volcanic ash. We dusted uh, around the holes and then we'll just fill these in. So it's got about three to four inches to go into the clay and the mixed soil and then more on top. And we'll probably just keep hilling as it grows. So here you can get a view of the volcano method. And there's a way to kind of to conserve your fertilizer and your good soil. So we put the very best soil up in little volcanoes. And as time goes, we will probably hill them again. We'll scrape some of this dirt with a wheel hoe and, and, or a hoe and throw the dirt in to hill them. We're on our last few rows here. Now, you'll notice that these rows seem ridiculously wide apart. They're four feet apart. And the reason we did this, because it seems like a huge waste of space, but we do not live full time at the homestead. And when you do row gardening like this, you're, you pretty much, if you put them real tight, you have to water constantly all the time. But if you put these really, really wide rows in, the water runs from the middles of the road to the piles and they, uh, they keep it saturated and this is the way old school people used to do it in the 1800s 1900s they had you know a lot of land they would do the land like this and they call it wide row, wide row gardening if you ever want to find out more about it but basically the wider your rows the less you have to water so that's why we're doing this otherwise it seems like an enormous oasis space but remember you know next season if we decide we don't want this potato patch we have got a lot of good soil in here. We just have to, you know, wheel hoe it again and we can make rows closer of other stuff and put a sprinkler in here. Lastly, you'll notice that we are putting whole potatoes in the ground. And that is because we ran out of time. These, uh, normally what we would have done to save money is cut these in half and chit them. Uh, but we are way late putting these potatoes in the ground. We're almost like a month late up here. So we didn't want to risk the disease because when you cut them and chit them, if you put them in too early, they can rot if, until they scab well. I just didn't have time. So yeah, it's kind of a little wasteful, but it actually protects them better from disease, in my opinion, if you leave them whole and intact. So here's our three methods, the bags, the volcano rose, and the roost out. We'll see which one performs. So far, the roost out probably would have been the easiest to set up. The rows are definitely intensive, but they're working good. Every potato's popping. Every single one. And I haven't had to really water. 
and the bags are working fantastic. So I really like the bags. I don't know, they all seem like they're doing so good, but we'll see which ones actually produce potatoes. I'll make a follow-up story when it's all said and done with harvest. Although I'm kind of behind on this one and I didn't really keep track of how much we put in here, so I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll be able to tell though if it, we basically put a box in, if I pull that out and I have two boxes when I pull them out, I know I doubled our yield. So I'll let you know what happens uh, in a few months, how well we're going to dig this up and compare the different ways if the, uh, if the bags work better than the, the rows and different amendments. So we're, I'll just summarize it all for you. But if you want to get started and you want to try the volcano method, give it a whirl. The other thing is, you know, we are homesteading in South Carolina. If you are looking for a homestead because you think, uh, you know, the society is starting to go in a very bad place, and you don't have a place to go and you ours ours is more spiritual based in in vegan homestead we don't do livestock out here if that's your vibe contact us on our telegram group and feel free to chit chat and uh, we'll see if we can arrange a, a visit come on out and check us out also remember all of our uncensored stuff is over at odyssey and brighton because youtube sucks and they don't let us say anything anymore so everything here is really, really filtered and it's just about the farming and nothing else. So if you know what we really think and know about us, you gotta go over there. You'll find that in the description below. We love you, take care of each other, bye.